So many hollow movies have been made depicting the destruction of humankind and the galaxy that now I see it happening, none of it seems real. Who could have imagined that an artificial god would spell extinction for human and countless other races? But this cannot be a movie. It is happening too fast, and the good guys are losing. The entity has infected the Vardrag's main system and is spreading towards their outer worlds. The ghosts report that the Gorgs are in a similar situation. Though they remain stoically unafraid of the Black Moon, their courage is no protection against the Mechanoid's relentless advance. Are we too late to defeat the entity? Can Angel stand a chance against an opponent that has conquered whole worlds? It is no surprise that on the eve of the final battle, my doubts have reached their zenith. I have grown used to them. My decision has already been made. Using the data we gathered, Angel and our scientists have constructed an anti-mechanoid shield. It has been mounted on six of our support vessels by the Vardrag shipyards. Within its 100 kilometer radius, the shield dissipates the energy matrix of the mechanoids, splitting them into nano-sized particles and destroying them. For now, the Gorgs and the Vardrags have put aside their differences and formed an alliance against the mechanoids. I just hope their races survive long enough to enjoy the new accord. It transpires that the planners designed Angel as a weapon to be used against artificial gods like the Entity. However, Angel is nowhere near strong enough to fulfill such a role. She needs to be shrewd and use the element of surprise, the advantage that stems from relative obscurity. Of course, this means that she needs our help. A formidable human Gorg Vardrag fleet has assembled at the Alpha Gate. It will attack the mechanoids in our solar system, allowing Angel to sneak through and fight the entity. I've been promoted to Vice Admiral and assigned with the honor of leading the operation. Though this is a huge responsibility, I'm concentrating on one thing. We have to win, whatever the cost. Vice Admiral, the time has finally arrived for us to get rid of our enemy. The mechanoid assault on their home system has made the Vardrags realize they cannot hide from the entity. They must face it, no matter how scared they are. Though the bulk of the task is still down to us, they are not only providing us with the opportunity to return to Earth, but they are dispatching a brand new fleet to join our forces equipped with the latest technology. With their help, we will be able to mount anti-mechanoid shields on our support ships, allowing us to attack the entity's forces head on. You and your unit are the first to cross the Alpha Gate, to activate and at the same time test the anti-mechanoid shield. Until the shield is activated, you must provide cover for the support ship, after which you will have to secure the perimeter until our fleet arrives. If the shield does not live up to our expectations, you will at least have a fighting chance of returning to Noah's system unharmed. Vice Admiral, the fate of Earth is once again in your hands. And so we have finally returned to the solar system. So, uh, yeah, if we go have a look at our ships, we should see that everyone is available. And we also have a new ship, the Colossus, uh, led by Daryl Sanderson. You can read her bio if you want. Uh, 
But anyway, we have a lot of stuff to do, we have a lot of resources to do it, and my god, this is going to be terrible. Anyway, first thing that we need to make sure of, right, before we do anything else is make sure every ship has a Skeeter weapon, energy Skeeter, right? Because we're, we're, we're fighting the mechanoids now, and so we kind of need it. So we're going to swap this guy out with an energy Skeeter, and we're going to swap, no, confirm, yes, Brutus, swap with energy Skeeter, Colossus, you already have one, Guardian, swap with energy Skeeter, and Sparta, I click confirm, thank you, uh, and Sparta, also get yourself an energy Skeeter. This is why I uh, decided to change the other energy shell into an electron shell rather than this one. It makes sense because I was changing this one up for an energy skeeter anyway. Uh, this is only going to be temporary because we're going to gain more ships in the future. Anyway, confirm. Well, as you can see, we've got more room for ships, so why not? Anyway, starting off with the angel wing, uh, we should now have a new type of engine, the antimatter engine, which is basically the light rider engine, but for large ships. Um, yeah. It, the reason why not me we don't have many is because it's very hard to find fuel for it, which is why we're only going to put it on the uh, Angel Wing, for one, because it's our main ship, obviously. Um, and I believe we're going to put it on the Avalanche? Hmm. Well, we might put it on later, but yes. Uh, so that's the antimatter, uh, antimatter, and then we also have an upgrade for the Volcano Plasma Gun, which is... The Nova Plasma Gun, which is the most destructive plasma in the world. It's also more precise, apparently. That's useful. Anyway, uh, we're going to swap, swap those guys out. So, let's get some Novas. Excellent. We've got two Delectrons, we've got two Novas, we've got Energy Skeeter, we've got Laser Nets, Integrity Shield, Fusion and, uh, fusion Thing. We've got Advanced Sensor Array, but that's fine. I don't need a better one. Um, Actually, I probably will need a better one. Can I get the Palantir? I can get the Palantir. Right, we'll grab the Palantir. Because there's not much else we can do with this money we have. Right, we've also got Flash Fighters and Scythe Gunboats. I don't think we're going to need any right now, so that's fine. Okay, on to Mr. Brutus. Hello, Brutus. Um, yeah, we've already got an Energy Skeeter. If we go up here. Uh, I've got the, the Electron Shell. Uh, do we have a Torsion? Yeah, we have a torsion, and we can swap this out for a palantir as well. Yeah, it seems I went a bit far ahead in what I was supposed to be doing here, because I've got everything already. Uh, I mean, I could technically swap this out for a Nova. Apparently we can't mount these, they're a bit too big. Oh, it's a shame. Imagine destroyers, uh, like you have ten destroyers with uh, ion screen bombs that just ridiculously kill everything. Oh, we've also got a nuke, by the way. This is the Big Bang Missile. It is the nuclear warhead of Nexus the Jupiter Instant. Uh, we will be using those later in the mission where I'll have to retry a hundred times, because my god, that mission's amazing, but also really painful. Yeah, that, that'll be in the future, in the very near future, in fact. Uh, right, for, so for Sparta, we've got Energy Skeeter. Good. Um, we have a standard ECM. We don't have a Palantir sensors, but then again, why do we need them? Uh, so instead, what we're going to do is we're going to change this to a Nova. Even though I technically should have done it for the battleship, but whatever. Um, yeah, I really should have done it for the battleship. Meh. Uh, we've got a jamming shield. We should have a integrity shield small that we can replace this guy. Good. Integrity shield being the best shield in the game. Uh, confirm that. Is there anything else that needs doing? No. Good. Avalanche. Hello, Mr. Avalanche. How are you doing today? We've got an energy skeeter. We've got two anti-G guns. Uh, we want to swap, uh, swap those two for Novas, except we don't have any, because I did good here. <clears throat> Um, I now remember why I didn't want to go for the, give those guys Novas. Oh well. Uh, well, we could get this. Uh, we could give this guy some torpedoes, right? Uh, do we have got eliminated torpedoes? Do we have an upgrade for them? Probably not, but that's fine. Pulsar missile. 
huge impact and ability to damage several ships simultaneously. No, Big Bang Missile, the bigger one. Right. Tremor Torpedo. Antimatter Weapon. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'll have two of those, please. We're going to be using Tremor Torpedoes, because we can. And also, I haven't used them before, so uh, that's going to be fun. Right. You've got laser globes. Uh, we do have enough resources to give you a laser net and light. We've got ten laser nets. It's ridiculous. Confirm that. Uh, and then we go over to Guardian. Hello, Guardian. NG Skeeter. Um, we should have two bubbles. Yeah, one. And we should have enough Delectrons. Yes, we should. Uh, electron, Delectron. Excellent. Uh, two Volcanoes. We've got two Magma. Well, three Magmas. I kind of want to change this one into an electron instead, um, because that's going to help deal with shields. Noting that we're in, you know, the solar system, and shields aren't usually there. Oh no, no. One thing I want to do, change this layer shield, which is the weakest that this thing could have, into an integrity shield. Would be good of us. Uh, you've got that. You could also have another combat drive if I had the resources, which I don't. Okay, and then lastly, Colossus. The massive support ship that is housing our lovely, uh, well usually it'll be housing a fortress shield but it, it's instead having an anti-mechanoid shield. That's annoying because I really want to use the mobile fortress shield. Well technically this thing disables the fortress shield if you start to move but uh, if you do it manual mode then uh, you can make it so you've got a mobile fortress shield. It's fun. Really fun. Uh, anyway, we have uh, we want to place a quark support generator here, and then we're going to place as many plasmas as possible. The reason why we're placing plasmas is so that we can get the mechanoid shield online as quickly as, uh, as quickly as we want, because these plasmas will increase the starting amount of energy we have, and we can put it all into shields to get the mechanoid shield up, because uh, the mechanoids will basically destroy us. Uh, we could also fit the support ship with, uh, you know, it's uh, quite a bit of heavy weapons. Uh, it's got two bits for heavy weapons, which we could properly use this as an artillery ship. Noting that if we lose the uh, Colossus, we lose. You know, it is now a mission critical ship like the Angel Wing. But that will do us for today. Uh, okay, let's get in the mission, shall we? After mm, seven minutes. Yeah. Ugh. And now, time for a good fight. Attention all units, full alert. Enable energy skeeters, target the mechanoids. That's it, Marcus. Let's hit the mechanoids where it hurts. Charging any mechanoid shield. Cover our vice rears, Admiral. Oh, I mean, cover our rears, vice Admiral. Unknown object detected. Task complete. Right, so uh, quickly before we just go into it, we've got uh, most of our fleet with energy skeeters. Uh, well, which is, you know, every ship that's not the Colossus. Well, the Colossus also has energy skeeters, but I don't want to give it commands. Right. So, the current goal here, activate the anti mechanoid shield, which is easy, because it's charging. Which is easy, because I'm boosting it to something ridiculous. So we should be fine. Okay? Should be completely fine. Uh, now, we are going to have, um, like, all the mechanoids attempt to attack us in a second. And we want all of our ships to be able to take them out. So we're going to select all of our ships. And we're going to sit here and wait for them to come to us. Warning. Enemy unit identified. Noting that they're going to be using the gun turrets to activate the mechanoids. Now, if, now fun thing. If we killed these platforms uh, when we were first here, these platforms wouldn't be here. Another fun thing about uh, continuity in this thing. I love persistent fleets. Aye, aye, sir. 
Now we are going to get hit quite a bit, but we should be fine. Warning. Right, that guy's down. Uh, let's hit this guy. Affirmative. Noting that uh, Colossus is going to take quite a bit of damage, but once the Colossus has its shield up, uh, these mechanoids should go running back home to their base and die. Um, because that's Task what we're aiming for. Any mechanoid shield activated. There we Time go. for some action. Unknown object. It works like a charm. They're going down. Sir, the platforms Task are arming their complete. rocket launchers. Mm -hmm. So, they're using the station okay. as cover. Yep, as you can see, they're transferring over to Shukenja Beta. They should be gone. Enemy unit lost. Yeah, they're getting themselves killed. Enemy unit found. Warning. Incoming missile. Unable to complete task. I didn't order you to go there, people. Uh, oh, the Brutus and Sparta, they should be fine. Uh, yeah, let's get everyone over there. No. Yes. L yeah, let's kill the gun turrets. Warning. Incoming missile. In fact, I think Brutus and Sparta can deal with it now. Because look, look, look how quickly these guys kill things. Yes, sir. And also, we Warning. could kill Shukenji. Incoming before. missile. I mean, that Warning. might break. Uh, Incoming missile. That might break the missile. Angel, do it. can you take them out? Understood. Not a problem. Look. The airlock is opening. This seems familiar. That doesn't. And that definitely doesn't. What the hell was that? Where did it go? Has it got some kind of camouflage? No. As far as I can tell, it has Understood. gone. How can you be so sure? I bet he asked lots of questions as a child, too. How can it be gone? We would have seen it charging its IP drives. What kind of a ship was it, anyway? The ship is unfamiliar. It seems to use unknown space shift technology. It probably originates from a race that even the Vardrags haven't encountered until now. No doubt the latest victims of the Entity. But where could the Mechanoids have gone with that ship? It's not their style to run from a fight. Okay. Unidentified ships! Warning. They're attacking! They under attack. so Warning. Uh, the shield does identified. not block their shots! Enemy ship found. Now, Unknown as object you can tell, detected. Uh, I am now going to get these frigates to get the hell out of... Uh, no, these destroyers to get the hell out of here. Because these alien ships here will rinse it. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to get the three things that actually deal with these kind of things and kill the living daylights out of these alien ships I'll which appear to teleport. Angel, can you recalibrate the shields? I could try, Enemy but I'm hardly likely to achieve satisfactory Enemy results ship with Enemy ship lost. in a limited time frame. Enemy we have to yes. hunt them down. They're we can't call in the fleet it's until annoying. they've been wiped out. Enemy ship lost. Support energy low. Oh no, Brutus! Light powering down. Why? Warning. Heavy weaponry is offline. T Warning. Ship is being evacuated. Warning. Oh. Our squadrons are under attack. Enemy ship well, found. Well, the, the Brutus Warning. wasn't likely to, Weapon you know, disabled. Enemy succeed ship anyway. Found. Aye, aye, sir. Enemy ship lost. As you can see, it is tearing apart our ships. Uh, the Brutus Enemy is dead. Enemy ship found. I think the Sparta managed to get away. But yeah, they, these guys are yes, sir. horrific. Enemy ship lost. You can actually play these guys Enemy in the multiplayer. Um, though it's really quite fun to play because Enemy you just teleport ship everywhere. Lost. Enemy ship found. Life pods have finished docking. Enemy ship lost. Enemy ship found. Right, that's two. Uh, yeah, we just need to kill the third. Aye, aye, sir. And then we're good. Uh, and then we'll finish the mission. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to load from a previous save so that we can actually make sure that the Brutus doesn't get its hand, uh, doesn't get, you know, destroyed by these guys. Okay, so, uh, we've just got back to the place where the Mechanoids have started to run because the Mechanoid Shield is active. Now, uh, we learned from previous attempts that uh, we want to get these guys out of Dodge. Yes, sir. So we're going to return to the platforms the platforms are arming their rocket launchers. 
So, they're using the station as cover. Okay, so you know the plan. Uh, Unable to complete task. Instead of using Enemy these guys to kill the locked. weapon platforms, we're instead going to use, I don't know, the main ships. Uh, Angel, Warning. Avalanche, Guardian. Incoming missile. Now, we should be able to deal with the missiles pretty easily. Warning. Incoming missile. I mean, after all, these are the base tier missiles, so they are absolute rubbish. Affirmative. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to move in and take out these platforms because we can. Um, yeah, the, the sun isn't really giving much illumination, but that is because we're in Warning. Pluto. Incoming missile. Incoming missile. It's the missile time. Warning. Incoming missile. Angel, can you take them out? Not a problem. Aye, aye, sir. Angel does really have a long reach there. And here we go again. They attempt to escape via the airlock. The airlock is opening. Something exploded. What the hell was that? Where did it go? Has it got some kind of camouflage? No. As far as I can tell, it has gone. How can you be so sure? I bet he asked lots of questions as a child, too. How can it be gone? We would have seen it charging its IP drives. What kind of a ship was it, anyway? The ship is unfamiliar. It seems to use unknown space shift technology. It probably originates from a race that even the Vardrags haven't encountered until now. No doubt the latest victims of the entity. But where could the mechanoids have gone with that ship? It's not their style to run from a fight. Probably to get the other ships. two ships. Warning. They're attacking. Enemy ship found. Understood. Unknown object. Sir, detected. the shield does not block their shots. I'll be damned. Angel, can you recalibrate the shields? I could try, Enemy but I'm. It might be easier just to have the camera focused on Colossus. Uh, yeah, they're going to be teleporting around, uh, around like Hardly that. likely to achieve satisfactory... Warning. Warning. Weapon disabled. Affirmative. You people. Yeah, they took... why they take out a flak cannon? Do you even know how to fight? Results within a limited time frame. Yes, sir. We have to hunt them down. We can't call in the fleet until they've been wiped Enemy out. ship lost. Enemy ship found. Enemy ship lost. I'd really like if they stopped teleporting everywhere. Enemy ship found. I mean, if you were to do this in multiplayer, you must have really, really Enemy ship uh, good lost. control over Understood. ships. Enemy ship found. Yes, sir. Right, that's one dead. Aye, aye, sir. Let's take out the others. Enemy ship lost. Noting that I think they also use anti Enemy ship drives. found. Warning. Engine disabled. Don't kill my engines. Oh, that's going to be a lot of stuff I'm going to need to repair on the avalanche. Um, but that's fine. We're nearing the end of the campaign. So this is good. Enemy ship lost. Enemy ship found. Yeah, avalanche. I'm going to have yes, you... Uh, no, not do that. Affirmative. Escape through the wormhole, please. Full power to engines. Uh, yeah, your ECM's online, good. Uh, yeah, we're just going to be using the Angel Wing and Guardian right now, because first, the Angel Wing can heal. The Guardian has a lot of health. Uh, we're going to get the Avalanche out there before it gets killed. Enemy ship lost. Yes, sir. Enemy ship... Aye, aye, sir. Support energy low. Device powering the down. Gets Emergency. Hit once more, Hull integrity is critical. Enemy ship lost. Avalanche. Enemy ship found. Avalanche. Warning. Ship is being okay. evacuated. Uh, so it, instead of just losing the Brutus, we instead Enemy lose the Avalanche. Thumbs up. Uh, but that's fine. Enemy the av the Avalanche found. were going to drastically change its loadout anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, well, it will matter. Warning. It means it's going to be a bit weaker. We're going to change attack. it to an artillery ship, so it's fine. Um, oh well. Uh, well, I'll take that loss yes, instead sir. of the Brutus, because the Brutus, it's going to be annoying to redo that. Because, you know, it's a useless ship anyway, but... Okay, so we're just going to kill the last alien ship which is floating around. Being a floaty weird person. Yep, 
This is the wreckage of one, by the way. Looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And there we go. That's all three ships dealt with. Am I... Life pods have finished docking. Am I going to attempt to do this uh, without losing any ships? That's the question. Uh, yeah, I am. Okay, uh, we are back again. And the way that we're going to do this is uh, something that might be a brilliant idea. We're going to move, right? We're going to move to the wormhole. Enemy and we're going to stay there. Lost. Uh, the reason is so Enemy that any time that one bound. of our ships gets too broken, we could just instantly Warning. throw it to the incoming wormhole. Missile. Uh, yeah, we have got missiles incoming, but uh, Angel Warning. will eventually deal with it. Incoming missile. That is, unless leaving everything would just mean that it hits, all of them hit the Colossus. But, yeah, it's going to take a while for the Colossus to turn around, which is going to be slightly annoying. But that's okay. I mean, we could technically take down the anti mechanoid shield Warning. right now, and the mechanoid come missile. back, but Enemy platform we don't want that. Lost. Enemy Angel, platform can you take them out? Yeah, sure. Not a problem. Incoming missile. Round three, people. Look, the airlock is opening. What the hell was that? Where did it go? Has it got some kind of camouflage? No. As far as I can tell, it has gone. How can you be so sure? I bet he asked lots of questions as a child, too. How can it be gone? We would have seen it charging its IP drives. What kind of a ship was it, anyway? The ship is unfamiliar. It seems to use unknown space shift technology. It probably originates from a race that even the Vardrags haven't encountered until now. No doubt the latest victims of the entity. But where could the mechanoids have gone with that ship? It's not their style to run from a fight. They've gone to get more. Unidentified ships! Hi, fellas. Um, They're attack I'm sorry, but we're going to have to shoot you now. Um, wherever the hell you are... King. Sir. There we go. Understood. Um, yeah, it probably takes us like a few seconds order to find them. But we're going to keep our ships out here as much... Oh my god, yeah. Um, Brutus is going to get hit quite a bit, so I'm going to have you guys just get out whilst you still can uh yeah we're now going to overcharge all of our weapons so that we can deal more damage uh and our main objective is the shield the does not block their shots Identify. i'll be damned angel can you recalibrate the shields i could try but i'm hardly enemy ship lost yeah i'm i'm, I'm just gonna press space bar like no tomorrow to pause the game uh Likely to achieve satisfactory Enemy results ships. within a limited time frame. Enemy we have to hunt them down. down. We can't call in the fleet until they've been wiped out. Well, we could call in the fleet and Enemy then use overwhelming found. firepower to kill them all. Um, Enemy ship found. But yeah, that, that that's a good way to stop us from using everything. But Enemy if we do it this way, lost. any ships that are critical can instantly, Enemy well, near found. instantly try and get through the wormhole. Warning, we are under attack. Noting that if we leave with the angel aye, aye, wing, uh, we lose the mission anyway, Enemy so. ship lost. Yeah. These fellas are really getting on my nerves. Enemy ship found. Affirmative. Understood. Hey, fellas. Yes, sir. Uh, it'll be nice if you don't move away from the wormhole. Aye, aye, sir. If, Enemy if I keep you on aggressive, lost. you'll keep firing at them anyway, so. Enemy ship found. In position. Yeah, I know you're in position. Yes, sir. Colossus, get close to the wormhole. Enemy ship lost. Enemy ship found. No, yeah, I'm overcharging your weapon systems, but, you know, don't use all of them. Avalanche is taking quite a bit of a Enemy hit. Enemy ship lost. Enemy ship found. Uh, do we call it now? Do we? Uh, yeah, your Nova Plasma Gun isn't dead. No, it's damaged. Right. Well, before it dies, aye, aye, sir. Chris is well off. Enemy ship lost. Enemy ship found. Emergency. 
Hull integrity is critical. In position. Go now. Go. Go. Enemy go. Ship lost. Thank you. Enemy ship found. As you can see, brilliantly dealing with uh, ships getting destroyed. Enemy ship lost. Right, there's one ship left in the area, and we haven't lost any Enemy substances, ship which found. is brilliant. Unless I've missed something. Excellent. Both ship, uh, all ships are now disabled, and we should be able to destroy them with ease. See, that's how it should have gone. Stay, stay next to the wormhole, and then you can leave with a ship that's nearly dead. Correct way of doing things. By defeating the mechanoids and ships of unknown origin that were guarding the gate, we could carry on with our invasion. Our remaining five fleets pass through the gate without any problem and are continuing on their mission. We managed to destroy three alien ships and we spent 19 torpedoes because of the Colossus. Uh, no accomplishments because, hey, it was kind of an easy mission. I say kind of, I mean, y you have to micromanage quite a bit in order to not lose anything, but yeah. So, hopefully we should be able to get to Earth in the next episode. Until then, my name has been Zero Jake. End transmission.